All right, you see this little guy right here? Oh my goodness, this is, to me, is one of my favorite baits. And this bait was designed several years ago for Strike King for bass fishing. What we did at Strike King, we've included this in the arsenal of our saltwater baits. We've made stronger split rings with it, stronger hooks on it, so that you don't have to worry about it when you're fighting a beast. You got that fish on of a lifetime of the hook straightening out or having a problem with anything, whether the split rings would come apart. No, that ain't gonna happen because we have picked and chosen some of the best on the market when it comes to the terminal part of the bait. People say, oh, there's a few other baits on the market that look just like that and swim it and you know, all that kind of good stuff. No, 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 no. There's nothing on the market that is like the red eye shad. And one of the most important things that I love about the red eye shad you can fish this bait a variety of different ways. You can slow retrieve it, you can fast retrieve it, and yes, you can vertical jig it. You can vertical jig this in 15, 20 feet of water down to five, six feet of water, especially over rocks, especially over oyster beds, especially on a drop off. And why would you think it would work on a vertical uh, jig? Well, I'm gonna tell you, I get a lot of bites like this. Simply, if I'm reeling it and I'm, I'm, I come to the spot where I know where the drop-off is, I know where the hump is, I know where the oyster reefs is, I just let it fall. And when it falls, the difference between this bait and any other bait that I know of on the market is when it falls, it goes down head first like this and it's shaking the whole way, gets to the bottom and stands straight on its nose. It doesn't fall flat and fly on its side, it stands there like right there like he is eating something on the bottom and what does that do well that just aggravates the big predator fish i've had many many bites where it's just boom sits on the bottom three or four seconds later bam a big old redfish or a trout will grab it while it's just sitting still if you're fishing a rock jetty if you're fishing just a rock pile or an oyster reef you want to come through you want this bait right here you want this part of the bait to knock on the rocks it's called knocking on the door, boys. When you knock on the door, somebody opens it and somebody eats it. Most of the bites that you get will be right after it ticks off of a rock, off of a stump, off of a, a limb, off of anything, oyster, it doesn't matter. Those fish are hanging, the predator fish are hanging around that structure. For what reason? To pounce on something. So when this guy comes through and he knocks on the door, well, he opens it and it's all over with, guys. They're gonna crush it. The Red Eye Shad by Strike King, one of my most favorite baits in saltwater. So versatile, and this is a three quarter ounce. I like the three quarter ounce because it drops down fast. It comes down, it comes in half ounce and three quarter ounce, but yet really great here. Look for the one ounce Red Eye Shad coming out soon in 2024. So that's gonna cover even deeper water. I mean, uh, incredible.